Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are gonna make some really awesome hash brown waffles with the delicious fan favorite chili lime and top it off with a crema with our guac and roll, which is also salt free. So this is gonna be a lot of prep and then very little cooking. We're gonna start with peeling and shredding all of our potatoes, chopping up our corn, chopping up bell peppers, jalapenos, green onions, and mixing it all together to throw in the waffle maker. Top it with some salsa, some crema, some avocado, and some cheese, and you have got a delicious brunch favorite. So we're gonna start with peeling these and cleaning them up, and then we'll put them through a grater. If you have an attachment on your food processor, feel free to use that. You can also use a box grater. And if you are really looking for convenience, I would avoid frozen, but look for dehydrated. So next we're gonna grate these. I'm gonna grate them into a bowl with a towel. You can also use a cheesecloth, just so that when they're all done, you can squeeze all that extra moisture out. Um, if you have a box grater, stick it in here. If you're doing it in the food processor, grate them, dump them in. I'm just gonna use a trusty little piece and just go right in there. So whether you're doing dehydrated potatoes or fresh grated potatoes, after you rehydrate your potatoes, you wanna also wring out all of this excess liquid. The more liquid you get out, the crispier your waffles are gonna be. It looks gross, but it's a great workout. Um, this is also the reason you wanna shy away from using frozen hash browns for this recipe, because they're gonna have even more excess liquid in them. So now that you've got all the moisture out of your potatoes, we are just gonna dump those into as large of a mixing bowl as you can find. We are gonna be hitting this one right at max capacity, but it's gonna be okay. So pick up all your excess. We're just gonna set these aside and then start cutting up our bell peppers and jalapenos and red onions. We did a fine dice on these bell peppers. I had about eight little mini ones. You can do one of each of the big guys. And we're just trying to make it as small as possible so it mixes in with those potatoes. We're gonna do the same thing to our onion and our jalapeno. So we've added all our bell peppers, jalapenos, onions. We're gonna cut up some corn, some cilantro, and then we'll crack some eggs. Uh, you can use a can of corn or if you've got fresh cobs, just stand them upright and slice right down the side of them. So we've got the corn ready to go. A little messy, but fresh corn is always preferred. Then we're going to quickly chop up the cilantro, including the stems. Cilantro is a tender stem herb, which means you can eat those stems. Do not waste them. You've got plenty of flavor hiding in there. One thing to be aware of is the more you chop it, the more bruised it gets, and it's not gonna be the best thing. So just give it a quick, rough chop, and toss that in your bowl. We're going to very carefully mix this up a little bit, and then we'll crack our eggs in it. So as you could probably see, this bowl was at max capacity and not the right size. So we are swapping to this much more practical, but also less visually appealing option. Um, we've got it all stirred up. We're gonna crack those eggs in there. Give it a heavy pinch of salt and pepper. And then we're gonna do about three tablespoons of our chili marg. it up. So it's all nice and combined. The trick you want here is if you can grab it, squeeze it and it holds that shape, you're right on track. If it's still crumbling apart, you might want to throw another egg in. If it's really wet and sticky, throw some flour in so that it sticks together a little bit easier. But we are going to take this 
Um, you can also add cheese in there. You can throw in whatever kind of veggies you want. We're gonna give our waffle maker a spritz, probably on the highest setting you want. And we're gonna take about a cup of our mixture and pat it down in there. Disperse it a little bit, make sure you're getting all those mixed and crannies. Drop your lid. And While your waffle is cooking, we're gonna mix up some crema to go on top. I have this handy dandy squeeze bottle, but you can also just do this in a bowl. I'm gonna fill this about three quarters of the way full with our crema base. You can also use sour cream. Squeeze of lime in there as best you can. and about a tablespoon of our salt-free guac and roll. Stick that lid back on and give it a shake. We're gonna slice up our avocado to go on top and make it look nice and pretty. Um, we're gonna top this with some avocado, that crema and some salsa, a little extra cilantro. You can do it with whatever you like. If you wanna do sour cream instead, so we're just gonna slice through the avocado, trying to avoid going through the skin, and then we'll use a spoon to scoop it out. So after about 10 to 12 minutes, these are gonna be taking on a really nice golden color. You're gonna wanna have them be firm to touch. Um, Holding together nicely, slide a little spatula underneath there. And there you go. So now let's get ready to plate this. That beautiful avocado that you just sliced up is gonna go on top. We'll fan it out. We'll give it a little drizzle. A nice spoonful of our salsa. as much cilantro as you like. I just like to rip it up. And then we'll do a little squeeze of lime. Sprinkle of cheese. And you have a delicious brunch ready to go. Top it with a fried egg, some tomatoes, whatever floats your boat. A plate of proof that you can do way more with a waffle maker than just your traditional throw some batter in there with some chocolate chips. Bust this out for your next brunch, add some cheese, add some fried egg. You can add, get super creative with the toppings. We gotta get a bite with all this mixed in. Super light, super fresh, great for the summer. Mm, I'm going in for a second one. Love it. You can find this recipe and so many more over at spiceology.com. If you make it, post a pic, tag us. We wanna see what you guys are doing. Thanks for coming by and we'll see you next time.